Folks in Bellevue are speaking out tonight after neighbors say several cars have been broken into at a local park there. News 4's Joylin Bukovac asked police how many cars have been rummaged through at Edwin Warner Park. Matt Anderson says he and his wife take their dog Bullet to Edwin Warner Park almost every day. Anderson says back in the spring, they were victims of a car break in. We were taking the uh, dog for a walk in the park and when we came back, we saw the glass just all over and, and knew that we had gotten broken into. Anderson says the thieves got away with a lot of his wife's valuables. Her bag, headphones, uh, book, her entire wallet, I mean, everything like that. Um, they, they missed some things, but I mean, still some of the things they took is just very hard to replace. We really don't even feel easy coming back to the same place anymore afterward for a long time. He says more neighbors have been speaking out about their car also being broken into and it's seems to be happening at all hours of the day. Middle of the day, evening, morning, I mean, I've I've heard about or, or seen them all. Even just a couple weeks ago, I mean, there was that big rash of, of break-ins, you know, I mean, uh, my wife came and, and she said there were three or four cars just all in a row, all with windows shattered out. And, and you know, it's just, it's, you look around and, and you see people all over and you wonder how can someone get enough time to break into one car, take something and then get out of here, let alone three or four cars without anybody noticing. If you don't want to carry anything with you while you're at the park, it's advised you either leave your valuables at home or hide them before you even get to the park. Kristen Tillinghast says this is something she does often after having her car broken into. We're very aware not to leave anything of value, always park, uh, lock your car, don't leave anything in sight because um, you never know who's wandering around and who might decide they need something. Joylin Bukovac, News 4 Nashville.